The Fantasy Stakes is next. It's a two-year-old Group 1, and there are 27 runners in it. So let's hope it's a straight track. <laughs> it's a seven furlong Group 1, and the top one is Arn Force and Michael Scarlett. Cherokee, Warrior, Chief, Paul Rhodes, Schwazon, Blofeld, Thomas Rogers, Coffee and Biscuits, Joshua Sutherland, Crocodile, Bee Fotheringham, Dazzling Legend, Joshua Sutherland, Driving Viper, Dan Hughes, Foaming Lake, Darren Thompson, Jeans Holy, David Robertson, Golden Touch, Leon Van Rensburg, Graceland, Ryan Tamasevi, Master of Swords, Michael Scala, Asaka Player, looking for a four-timer for Vinnie Gerard, Passive Fire, Craig Allen, Riverman, David Robertson, Witchery Telegraph, and Ander Desta, for James Shea, Classic Mode, Alex Cherry, Furdus, Damani, Paul Fisk, Nunching in through Vinnie Gerard, Pretty Smart, Ryan Tamasevi, Quellon, Darren Thompson, Rainbow River, Martin Leedham, Rock Me Amadeus, Paul Rhodes, Siphon Painting, Paul Fisk, Sleepy Ending, Craig Allen, and Safa, Gemma, Rod McClure. They're all in and ready to go. And away they go, all 27 of them. And I think we might need another seven furlong race next season, chaps. And it's Safa, Gemma, who's probably one of the first to show. Cherokee Warrior Chief is also up there, as well as Armed Force. And it looks like Armed Force with the hooded jockey is the one that's going to go on with Dazzling Legend and Crocodile and then Foaming Lake. But there's 27 of them, but they're pretty well strung out with the first four or five already well clear. And Armed Force is set in a really stiff pace. So Armed Force past the five pole in the lead then. From Dazzling Legend in second, Crocodile is third in the pink jacket. Then the grey Foaming Lake is fourth. The rest of them are all in a heap with Passive Fire just about the back marker. Safa Gem is also towards the back but they're going to take this turn now and that's going to rule quite a few of these out of it I would think but it's Armed Force in the lead from Dazzling Legend in second then comes Crocodile and Foaming Lake after that Golden Touch Rock Me Amadeus is getting closer then Master of Swords Rainbow River's also close up as well but it's still Armed Force who's in the lead Armed Force in front then with Golden Touch looking for racing room and getting through on the inside but it's still Armed Force past the two Armed Force in the lead here comes Golden Touch Dazzling Legend trying to roar in Crocodile Siphon painting quite a few of these have not got into this race at all, and Armed Force past the front on Bowie's in the lead, but now Golden Touch hits the front, Golden Touch takes it up Siphon Painting, Dazzling Legend, Schwazon Blofeld finishing like a train, Siphon Painting coming through, but it's still Golden Touch, they're racing up towards line, Golden Touch up the centre of the track look at this one for this grey one, it's cool goodness me, I don't know what one that, it could have been Quill on, it could have been Dazzling Legend, there was a Vinnie Gerard horse flying at the finish as well and it's close a Joshua Sutherland horse, Dazzling Legend, looks like it got up and collared Golden Touch on the inside, so difficult to tell really, but there it is then. Dazzling Legend has taken it for Joshua Sutherland. Golden Touch for Leon Van Rensburg, second. Quellon for Darren Thompson, third. Asaka play for Vinnie Gerard was fourth, and Foaming Lake for Darren Thompson was fifth. <laughs>